Back now with two quick updates on a story that began this broadcast last night. The predicted quick and uh, rapid spread of swine flu in this country and around the world. The U.S. military considering a plan that could establish regional military teams to assist civilian authorities in the event of a major outbreak of the virus. Who decides who goes into a quarantine? Right. What is isolation? Who decides who gets into isolation? If I want to get out of a quarantine and isolation, do I have the ability to go to a court and get out? Uh, will the government say to me, you must get a vaccination if one is developed? Right. If I don't get a vaccination, will I be quarantined? Oh, if I'm a health care provider, if I don't show up for work at a hospital, will I be jailed? Will I lose my we license? thought it was simple. Either no, you it's were not. Get sick it's it's, it's not simple. Um, and, and we as a society, the freest society in the world, have to think about the balancing between saving our lives if mm -hmm. this pandemic comes true and the loss of, of, of liberty and the loss of rights um, as Americans. I think as Americans, in order to stay alive, in order to preserve our way of life, people are willing uh, to give up and to mm -hmm. make sacrifices. Sure. But at the same time, there needs to be an orderly discussion of, of what the rights are of the American people um, so when yes no? this... Uh, is this, this is what they claim, this is a concentration camp. Yes, it is. It is. Are there atrocities going on in that camp? There's every reason to believe there is. Is this a government-run concentration camp where atrocities, every reason to believe atrocities are going on? Yes. We are all on a red or blue list somewhere. Those on the red list into the camps and probably killed. Red list. These people are the enemies of the NWO. They are the leaders of patriot groups, outspoken ministers, outspoken talk show hosts, community leaders, and even probably net leaders. These people will be dragged out of their homes and will be taken to FEMA detention centers and killed. This will take place approximately two weeks before martial law is enforced. Blue list, these are also enemies of the NWO, but are followers of the red list folks. These people will be rounded up after martial law is in place, and will be taken to the detention centers and re-educated. Order number 11002 directs the Postmaster General to register all residents, including the mayor, so movement and relocation can be controlled. Executive Order 10995 says FEMA takes over all radio and TV. Order 10997 FEMA takes over gas stations and electric companies. Order 10998, FEMA takes over grocery stores and farms. Order 10999, FEMA controls movements of cars and boats. Order number 11,000, FEMA can suspend wage laws and put labor forces to work without pay. Order number 11,001. FEMA takes over hospitals and schools. We found that these state facilities are being built in the middle of U.S. Army property, not just in Indiana, but other states. FEMA has built prisons around the country, and they've also built underground facilities. It actually turns out that they are the key agency to implement a plan known as Operation Garden Plot, the plan to put American citizens in prison camps. Several thousand U.S. troops are training in the U.S. this summer and fall, and if we look around us, we can see plenty of the signs and symptoms of a global takeover under the auspices of the United Nations taking place right here in our country. Are these tanks part of Operation Garden Plot to be used to round us up for the slave labor camps along with the black helicopters and federal law enforcement that look like active duty military stationed in our roadways as they were in Waco? Welcome to the New World Order. Expect no mercy. Here are your coffins which you paid for with your tax money. There are millions of them waiting for you in different states across the country. Each coffin can hold three or four people, and most of you will be crammed into one right after martial law is declared in America. Me, I'm like, get out of here, horses! Get out, they're coming to get you! And she's like, be quiet, I'm getting on the trailer. Mm, I like Obama. <laughs> you know, up on to the trailer. And I'm like, no, get out of there! And she's like, you're just a racist. <laughs> She hears my desperation. You bet, lady. We may not win this thing. I'm, I mean, I'm going head up against pure evil, and you don't even know it exists. They can come and take anyone in your family away, even your children.